Uh, good evening to everybody. We want to um, to thank uh, Rep. Jeff and Mars Menes for sponsoring this um, Dvar Torah, the short um, uh, the short Dvar Torah on the three weeks. It's in the memory of Jeff's um, father, Pesach Ben Yaakov, and um, uh, we really want to thank you for sponsoring this, uh, Rep. Jeff. May the um, may the neshama of uh, your father have an aliyah began Aiden, amongst other things in the schut of this uh, Devei Torah. And again, I want to just use the, um, this opportunity to welcome you um, to the community and for all that you have been and Zat Hashem will continue to do for the, uh, for the Kehillah. We're starting now the periods of the the three weeks we just now the, today is Yudzai and Batamuz, and um, it's going to culminate in Tisha B'Av, and the the Gemara quoting from the um, from Eicha, it says that this period is called Bein Hametzarim, uh, between the two times of a Tsar, between the two straits, which means therefore that there is a connection between them. And just like the Ramban told us that on um, there's a, a type of Cholamoyed that connects, obviously, the beginning of a Chag to the other of the Chag. So also there is a, like a larger Cholamoyed, which stretches over uh, many days, like Pesach. And then there's the time of Svirata Omer, and then there's Shavuot. And that whole seven-week period is like one long Cholamoyed. So um, also... The Gemara is therefore telling us that when it comes also for those uh, sad um, uh, and tragic situations in Am Yisrael, in our history, there also is like a type of a Cholamoyed. And the Cholamoyed now is like 22 days between uh, Yud Zayim, Batamuz, and Batisha B'Av. But what's like now um, the connection between like this, uh, let's call it a negative cholamoid, or let's call it uh, yeah, this Baina Metzarim. What's the connection between these um, these two events? We um, we know that on Yud Zayim Batamus, five things happened. On uh, Tisha B'Av, five things happened. And they are like the Ten Commandments, five, Le'umat, five. Um, and I just wanted to suggest to like one uh, one idea. If we look at all the uh, basically the five things that happened to um, on Yudai and Batamus, they all got to do with um, they all got to do with Torah. Um, the, the, obviously, the very first, which is the seed for everything, is um, that uh, on Yudai and Batamus, that's when the uh, the tablets were smashed, and um, we know that, and that was a result of uh, the Chaita Egel. If we take the other five things that were done, uh, that that we that we mourn on Tisha B'Av, they all have to do with the uh, Chora, with uh, with the Malchut Yisrael, with uh, uh, with Eretz Yisrael, starting up with the seed of um, of not wanting to come into uh, Eretz Yisrael. The sin of the spas, which happened on uh, on Tisha B'av. so it's Torah versus um, Malchut Yisrael, but that's not the, the the that's not the part that I want to take. What I want to say is that is as follows: the five averot that are connected that that stemmed out of Yud Zayim Tammuz, they were all intellectual. They were intellectual uh, chataim. They were chataim that had to do uh, against the Torah. Um, the Chet Egel was uh, a Chet of a Seichel. There wasn't, uh, the people felt that Moshe should have come. They wanted uh, something to uh, replace him in one way or another. We don't know to go into the Mafashim. But um, what it was, was an intellectual way of Avodah Zarah. On the other hand, if we look at uh, the very root of uh, the Chet of Tisha B'Av, we'll see that it was Hashchata Bebidot. What it was, was an absolute desecration and um, a, a, a fall. Um, when it comes to the basic, um, the basic bidot, the basic decency of, uh, of human beings. When we look at what the Jewish people said when they were, con when they were told to go into Israel, so can you imagine after like, everything that they had witnessed in uh, Mitzrayim, 
all that God had taken them out sort of years and years of bondage, of suffering, of anguish and torment, had given them the Torah, had given the, 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 the door then, had sustained them in the Midbar with the man and, and with, with water and etc. I mean, it's the, the man, the, the one can hardly like speak of all these like great miracles that uh, and the great chesed that Hashem did. And then when you look in the book of Dvarim and you see what did when Moshe recounts the sin of the spies, what does he say? He says the sin of the spies was that they said, Bisinat Hashem and Okainu, that because, because Hashem hates us, he took us out of, out of Egypt in order to kill us in the, uh, by bringing us into the Midbar in Israel. I mean, is one crazy? Is this how you talk? That it's an absolute, it's not got, got nothing to do with intellect. It's got nothing even to got to do with now looking at appraising the political situation. Is this how people speak? Everything that Hashem did, all the kindness that Hashem did was because he hated, he hated you, but so. And therefore we can understand that uh, actually what seems to be the counterintuitive we would have thought that the law, that the, the calamities of Tishbab was maybe less than the calamities of uh, Shvasa Batamos. And yet this is what the Rav Chaim Vital tells us, that the basis of everything is, first of all, to have a certain basic decency and basic, basic um, derech eretz, to, 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 to everyone that can actually basically be like a mensch. And therefore, the, the, on Yud Zayim Batamu, all the intellectual sins we commemorate on a lower level of mourning, only, uh, and, and the fast is only a 12 hour fast. But when it comes to Tisha B'Av, to Metake, everything which has got to do with like, basic decency, but with Derek Eretz, but being Menschlakat and Edelkat, so that is like when that collapses, when that disintegrates, that's my much like uh, the destruction. And therefore, um, all the laws of mourning are much more chamur. And how much this lesson is so like is necessary for us over here and what's going on in Eretz Yisrael, all of us, that first of all, uh, we, 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 okay, first of all, we deal with that intellect, but to always keep in mind, to keep in mind that where we're going, we're going on, as the Rambam says, he calls the, he calls personality traits, they ought to fix up Nachod. To fix up, that's the goal. The goal is to fix up the personality. But by calling him Deod, we get, we understand that the way that we do it is through the intellect, through having the right day out. But the Tachlit is that we are as people, as an individual and as a community, that we are people who are Nashim Matukanim in Midod. Shabbat Shalom Lakulam.